Okay, this is the um, the Stecker 440 Solarix, uh, 40 amp um, solar controller. So it's uh, been installed now for the last two and a half hours. And uh, let's have a little look through its um, the, the the actual system itself. So everything's everything's working absolutely perfectly well. We've got the um, power coming off the panels into the batteries and um, into the output. Um, along these points here. Batteries at 100%. If we cycle through um, the menu, we have okay, battery voltage at 13.4 volts. That's basically full. Happy with that. We have the power on top of the panels, okay, which is producing at the moment 5.1 amps. Um, that will vary in a huge amount. Um, today we have a, a very overcast day and um, we're not going to draw, uh, you know, a huge amount of uh, power off these panels. But on a sunny day, this this can rise up to as much as 20, 29, 27 amps, producing huge amounts of power. Uh, next display, we've got the um, the power that's actually going to the battery, 2.8 amps at the moment, and um, pro being provided to the uh, battery. What's being used on the output over here okay, is 2.1 amps, and at the moment, all I've got running is I have. Um, 2.5 amp um, lights outside of the shed and um, we have a, a, an iPhone being plugged in at the moment and I'm sorry we don't have an iPhone being plugged in at the moment and we do have an iPhone being plugged in to this little baby which is a very handy little uh, USB um, a port that they have on this controller which the last one um, does not have so I think that's actually quite a good little, um, a good little uh, addition to this um, solar controller. Lastly, we've got the power. Bear in mind this has been running two and a half hours approximately. It's put ten amp hours into the battery um, from the solar panel. It's used up five amp hours, and I've been running this constantly. Um, I've had the swimming pool boiler. Oh, the swimming pool sand pump running that's been running off the inverter and that normally runs for about an hour and a half and we've got the two outside lights on and it's been powering up the ipad um iphone and believe it or not charging this um this gopro camera up so that's um really all there is to know about that little thing this um little gadget here is gonna um, enable and disable the output to your um um, to your devices and to, to the um, 12 volt system which is, which basically runs along here into here then this is all running off 12 volts and we've got wiring behind the, um, the paneling which is lighting up the um, two lights so just going back over this okay so installing this it's very very important that you install um, the positive from the battery first negative from the battery first the reason for that is if you don't do it in that order um, the solar controller will not know whether you're running a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system okay so very important to do that first next you're going to go over to the solar panel positive from the solar panel negative from the solar panels lastly you're going to do the output okay positive and negative do it in that order you cannot go wrong